So, after um, flooding, you know, flooding the place, uh, we can continue on the main story. But before I do that, though, it is a few things off screen. Nothing too much, I guess. It's mostly just wandering around, doing a bunch of random battles, getting five hundred thousand dollars, I guess, or at least the equivalent. Oh, well, it would be it would be Gil, I guess, uh, in war funds. Because that's the requirement for one of the side quests as well. Um, but let's see here. What's the most I string? Oh yeah, I was... Well, I don't know if I changed anything. I'm not sure. But I might have bought like a few items or something. I don't remember what happened. Like what I did last time compared to this time. I probably bought... I probably bought stuff, you know. I think I gave... I think I gave mirror mail to Nina. Is that what I did last time? I don't remember. I think that's what I did. I remember, like, you know, reminding myself because I gave her mirror mail, which gives her reflect passively. I gotta remember that she can cast magic on her accidentally. Hmm. Also, switch up and add a Barret on her because she kept being charmed, you know? I don't know if in the future there'll be more people that will charm her, but like, I gave her the Barret anyway. So she's immune to a lot of stuff. Instead, a Heo will have the equipment that gives her extra magic attack that boosts her speech craft. Anyway, um, what was I trying to do? I think I was thinking of changing Harbeck into a ninja, right? I was, th I was I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably do it now. Actually, that's probably what I'll do. You know, it's like because I think he mastered the dragoon class already. Like it's a star, you know. By the time I finish, you know, walking around off screen, he basically mastered the dragoon class. So you might as well change it to something else. I'll change to a ninja. Why not? This. I think the ninja, I don't know how it is in other games, but definitely in this one, ninjas are kind of OP. A lot of things are OP, I guess. But ninjas especially are very strong in this game. That's why I was thinking of not using it, you know, because it's, it's so strong, but like, eh, whatever, I'll use it. Put that on, why not? And then what the way he can do, uh, can he, does he do it innately? I think so, yeah. He can like put on two swords at the same time, so he can like boop boop, you know? Dual wield. Somehow, I mean, this is, I don't know how, I mean, it's not realistic, you know? <laughs> Obviously. But like, ha just because you have two swords doesn't mean you attack two times, you know? <laughs> anyway. That's what I, I feel like anyone who doesn't know anything about sword fighting, they think that's how it works. That's not how it works, though. Just because you have two swords doesn't mean you swing twice as fast, necessarily. Um, you know, so it's not very practical in terms of like increasing attack speed necessarily. But you know, in this game, that, that's how it works. Two swords equals two attacks, I guess. And you can learn that ability, I believe. If you go through ninja class and you learn that ability, I believe it's called... Well, I think it was before it was called two hand or something, or double hand. Well, well, it's called Dual Wield here, which makes more sense, actually. It's just, it's just called Dual Wield. So if you equip this uh, on your character, anyone can just, you know, attack two times. It's very, very strong, as it turns out. I'm just gonna keep him as the, in the ninja class. Uh, just because. For shurikens. Like, his biggest thing is that he can throw stuff, you know? He has the power of throwing things. Amazing. Which, ironically, is not super strong. In terms of like uh, an ability necessarily, but again, similar to the samurai, the biggest reason why you want to be in that particular class is to get its passive, which is actually very strong. Um, I feel like I don't really need JP boost, but I don't know anything to replace it with. At the moment, so I'll just keep that. I'll just keep that. Anyway. So he's a ninja. I mean, well, other than that though, ninjas are a little bit better than samurai only because they also have like a boost to evasion, you know, a boost to evasion. We're gonna get a skill later on that will make them dodge a lot of things. And also just in general, um, they're very fast as well, so you get like a speed bonus too. There's a good speed growth on ninja. Anyway, actually let me swim. Yeah, let me save actually. So before we continue the main story though, let me do some side quests, you know, because some new side quests open up. Um, this one, I have, I'm, uh, there's a side quest I'm thinking of right now that I could have done before technically, but I didn't have the requirements. And it's very, very obscure actually, it's incredibly obscure. And it's one of the reasons why I'm moving back and forth in the city, 
is the fact that uh, you need, for what I mentioned before, 500,000 gil in your war funds. You don't even use it all, but you need it in the first place. You need Agrius, Mustadio, Alicia, and Levian, you know, the beginning generics as I mentioned before. You need to keep them in your party. That's the second requirement. And the third requirement is that you need to go to a non-castle city on a particular day. So that's uh, that's incredibly obscure. I don't know if can, if people could. I mean, maybe eventually someone someone will be able to find the side quest without a guide. Um, but I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, like this, this is incredibly. Obscure. I don't know if you would naturally find the side quests. Even the other side quests are kind of little like obscure because you gotta like go to a particular town, you know, read a rumor, and then go back and forth, you know? Unless you're very thorough, I probably won't find anything on your own, naturally. So obviously, I only know about this because of a guide, but <laughs> anyway. But, you know, so you have to go here, you have to go to a town, basically, that's not a castle, on the 1st of Cancer, which is right after Gemini. So, this should work. Nope, actually, oh, there's, as it turns out, there's 32 days in Gemini. Oops, I forgot. Now, again, try again. Take two. Uh, okay. I was gonna say, it should work. Unless I somehow mess it up. A cutscene plays. Amazing. Hmm. Well, do you intend to give it to her or not? Give what? To whom? I've, I've no idea what you... Mustadio. Alright, alright. Ah, Agrius. I uh, hope this is not, uh, not a bad time. <laughs> okay. hmm, is something the matter? No, it's just... I... here! Gift. What's this? It's a... a present. I heard today was your birthday, so I will... Today is my birthday, isn't it? I've near forgotten. Who told you? Lavian, Alicia? Those two cannot steal their tongues, can they? Um, anyway, I... Well, I wanted to give you this. It isn't much. May I open it? Uh, yes, of course. Lip Rouge? Are you saying Rouge? Lip Rouge? Yes, you're always busy fighting and then... Well, I know you're probably small time for such womanly things, but... I thought it may help you might like to have that. I have small time, yes, but... I chose this life for myself. It's not as though I regret it. Still, there are times. Are you sure it's alright for me to have this? Of course. Why do you ask? It costs a goodly amount, did it not? Truly, a gift like this is a waste of a night such as I. No, not at all. Please accept it. Very well, then. Oh. Well? Do I look odd? What? No, you look wonderful. Truly so. Well, I mean, I assume it's lipstick, right? So, I mean, you, you, she's doing it without a mirror, you know? I don't know. She mentioned she didn't do it very often, so I don't know how it looks. I imagine it looks like a big, you know, big red lips clown. Anyway. Thank you, Mustadio. I will treasure it, or treasure it, as I do our friendship. I guess, friend zone? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that's translated. It, I mean, I don't know. That seems to imply some shipping there, by the way. Mustadio and Agar Agnes? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe they're just friends. That's what she said. I don't know. But as far as I know, that's that's it. That's the extent of that cutscene. And you do get an item. It's a very powerful item, actually. I believe. Uh, it's similar to the perfume. Like, any, like, female character can use it. But it, it boosts your, uh, yeah, your physical and your magic. Boosts holy and also gives you protect, shell, and haste. So it doesn't make you immortal necessarily, but it's very good because you're very durable if you have it. It's a magical lip rouge. Rouge? For the popular Fae Forge brand. It's a limited edition product, making it difficult for even the richest noble woman to obtain. Amazing. 
it's, uh, it's magical lipstick. Wow. Um, I mean, I guess I should just give it to Agris. It makes the most sense. Like, you can give it to her, but then, you know, you can't give it to just other people. But lore-wise, she's supposed to have it, right? And apparently it's, it makes her stronger in battles, you know? She said a knight does not have no need for such womanly things. But maybe she should have these womanly things if they give you such powerful buffs somehow. I don't know. Anyway. Good for that. So he's very powerful now. Amazing. Good. Alright, there you go. That's it. Um... I guess it really is like, you know, I mean, it's meant to be just just like a lot of old games, but then again, this is on PSP, I don't know. I, I just know in the back in the really old days, you know, that uh, a lot of video game secrets were meant to be real secrets, you know, you didn't have like the internet to just tell you how to do everything, so you would have to like find out from outside sources, you know, remember Nintendo Power or something? Though I've never, well, I think I was too young to really subscribe to like a magazine or something, but I... I've heard that, for example, you would just like, you know, purchase a magazine to tell you secrets and cheat codes and all that. Well, I remember buying like a Pokemon guide, actually. Yeah, I bought like a book that shows you all the secrets of like a, the Pokemon, the Pokemon game. One of, one of them. Anyway. That gives you a really strong, uh, let's say, I believe you only do that on the PSP version. I remember trying to do it on the PlayStation version, actually, and I, I, I don't know, well, I don't really remember what happened, but I probably, like, got frustrated. It's like, oh, why, why did it work? Oh, it's because it's on the PSP version. Whoops, you know? Uh, that's probably what happened. Anyway, if I had to guess. Um, but yeah. So, we did that. There's still a few more things to do. Something I missed last time, actually. I was supposed to go back here. I, I didn't know this, but after doing the Haunted Mine, I believe. You know, getting that, uh, getting Beowulf and Rice, you know, the dragon. You're supposed to actually go back to the city of Gog, which I didn't do, so I should probably do that. Um, the problem is random battles, but, well, time to, time to go all the way there and hope for no random battles. Whee! Okay, one down. <laughs> Oop. Two down. Oop. Three down. Wow. Amazing luck. I'm going to save it here. Again, not, I don't know that it matters, but I'm going to save it here just in case. And four, four down, four for four. Wow, it's like it's like Russian roulette. Uh, five. Ah, I'm gonna, then I shoot myself in the head. And I die. No, um, anyway, let's go over here. All right, so let's go over here. The Clockwork City of Go. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be, there should be one more cutscene here that I forgot that uh, that there was. Or at least I didn't think there was, but there is actually. So this continues the side quest, uh, because we, ca we came here initially, you know, and talked about the stone and everything, right? Will the stone truly bring the spirit to life? You saw as much of your own eyes, did you not? Put a little rock inside. You're right, it stirs! Is that all? It must no longer be operational. Initialization complete. All system normal. What is your command, Master? By the gods, the machine speaks. Awaiting your command, Master. Give it a command, Ramza. Me? Must I? Mayhap you could. What are you talking about? You're the thing's master. Repeat. Awaiting command. Oh, let's see. Uh, destroy all my enemies. No. Very well. Um, dance. Oh, for the. Well, well, what, 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 what would you have? What would you have it do? It's it's dancing. I wonder how powerful this thing is. I am very strong. Well then. Dispose of Mustadio. <laughs> okay, then he gets killed. He's removed from the party. 
That's why you have to do the Agrius birthday quest first, because this is where uh, Mustadio canonically gets killed by the robot, and Ramza uses his robot to take over the world. Dead. <laughs> uh, oh no, Phoenix down! Where's the Phoenix down? Well, <laughs> he died in the cutscene, Ramza, so therefore you can't use uh, Phoenix down. You know, that's how it works, right? Anyway, so Construct 8 has joined the party, so it's a gi giant robot, somehow, is a party member now. Good. Uh, it, it has like zero faith, so like, it's very unique, because it, it can't be affected by magic, at least most magic anyway. And also, like, it's a big robot, so <laughs> I don't know, I've never actually used this one. I, I, I think in the original, I think you can get him in the original, I'm not entirely sure. But I, I think I skipped this one. I, I didn't know actually. I didn't f actually follow that quest to go here. So that's new actually, to me anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So it's like similar to like a monster. They just have their own skills and everything. Uh, I'm not gonna use it, but you know, interesting. The robot's basically kind of like Robo from Chrono Trigger. Anyway. So that's that. All right. So those are the little side quests I want to clean up from last time. Um, there's more though. Uh, in order to activate them, I think you have to go here first. So you have to continue a bit of the story first, and then you can go back and do some more side quests. So let's do that. Some more, uh, you know, some more treacherous areas to traverse through. No random battles. Ah, random battle. Alright, so over here, so I believe, well, well, let's just see what happens. Because you need to go here first before doing other side quests, so let's do this real quick. Whee! So we're gonna, what are we gonna do? So this is continuing the story. He's walking around, say, like, oh. A flower for a gill, sir. A flower? Yes, a flower. A blossom bud. You've seen one, I'm sure. Of course I have. Well, then surely you could spare a gill for one of mine. They're quite pretty. I've no need for flowers. I jump over her, stab her with my really long katana. No, um, no, uh, a gill seems like a fair price. Then you'll buy one, truly. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Few stop these days, and even fewer buy. It is a harder life than you might know. I always dream some charming knight will come galloping through and sweep me away from all of this, and also have a big, you know, giant sword that they carry on their back, and also spiky hair. They gotta have those features. Beg pardon, sir. I know there's not that you can do. I thank you again. May that flower bring you good fortune. Do 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 do. These times are hard for all. Well, not really. She gets a remake, though. Yeah. It's hard for re it's hard for you, Ramza. These times, you haven't got another game in years. Uh, but Final Fantasy VII has got like plenty of spin-offs and cameos in other games, and also a remake. You know. <laughs> anyway, I mean, if you didn't know that, I mean, that was Aerith, by the way. That's a cameo from Aerith. I believe. Well, it's gonna she's gonna show up later, I think, as well. And let's just say another cameo is gonna happen in this game. I think. Spoilers. Um, I don't know. Actually, I think it's gonna happen pretty soon. Actually, I think that's a side quest. I think. Let's see here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look at my handy dandy guide. Um, also, is it Arif or Eris? Oh, I want to say Arif. In my head, I think maybe the original translation was it. Oh, well, is that the other way around? I'm not sure. But you know, in the original translation of Final Fantasy VII, uh, she had a different name. But then the actual official localization later on, you know, she uses a different name. I think it was Aerith, right? Aerith was, is, the lo is the official one, Eris is the original translation, but anyway. Okay, so after that, you uh, open up a few side quests after visiting the city of Sao Giros. So, you can go over here and over here. I mean, let's just do it in order, I guess. So which one's closer, actually? Alright, so go over here, go to Zetania Castle. Go to the tavern. 
look at some rumors once again. Uh, these are the same, but it's also the Cursed Isle of Nelvin. No, uh, Nelviska. Nelviska. Nelviska? Well, the Isle of Nelviska lies some 80,000 domes north of Ziltania. Domes? I've never seen that word before. Domes. I assume as a measure of distance. The center of the island is home to the ruins of many ancient temples, which serve as a crucial base for the warriors fighting Ordalia's forces during the Fifty Years' War. Although Noveska may appear to be a lush jungle paradise, the local fishermen avoid it, claiming that it is cursed and a fearsome iron sentinel will slaughter any who dare approach. Hmm. An iron sentinel. Sounds like uh, some kind of golem or like a robot maybe? Same robot that we have? Maybe. Alright, and that opens up this thing. Amazing. Okay. I remember actually in the GBA version, it's kind of weird. Uh, but in GBA version, you were able to choose, you know, new locations to put on the map. There's some, some kind of order you could follow somehow that gets you extra bonuses. Anyway. Not so much in this game. In this game, everyone everything's fixed, which makes sense. You know, it makes more sense than me. Yeah, again, the, the GBA version was weird. Like if there's like a, a map that you like put the new locations on or something. I didn't really understand how to use that system. I just like randomly put stuff on the map. Anyway. Um, but uh, here is the temple that they mentioned. Apparently there's an iron sentinel. Let's see what how let's see what that is. Okay, nothing happened. Good. What? Let me just check the guide. Because it's a red node, right? That's weird. Uh... Oh, I have to go back to this clockwork st Oops! Okay, I, I skipped a step. Okay, so it wasn't that easy. You do have to actually go all the way back to go first, then come back. Oh. Alright, so yeah, you do have to like... Go all the way here first. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um... Let's do that, I guess. I skipped a step. I didn't pay attention enough. I was just reading, you know, other stuff. Apparently there's a lot of, you know, stuff, treasures you can get, but like... I don't- I don't count that? I don't know. So you gotta get- you gotta like go on certain spaces. It's, it's, it seems very annoying. I mean, you probably can do it. After you win the battle, you can just like walk around, find the treasures, but like... I don't know. That's... That's adding un unnecessary time to a playthrough and also... Lazy, and also, you know, many things, many reasons. Like, else also, you get, like, very powerful I already have, I already have very powerful items, you know? Do I need even more powerful? Unless you want to do the end game dungeon, I guess? That's the thing you do. Anyway, mm? Oh, okay, actually, I uh, you know, that was lucky, so I skipped all the random battles. Anyway. Alright, so you're supposed to go over here again. I forgot to- I keep forgetting to go here, you just, like... The, the, the game wants you to do it, you know, again. It's kind of like these old games. I mean, this is a remastered version, but even then, I guess, I, they don't really give you these hints. In a modern game, they would tell you, it's like, oh, by the way, go back here, you know, there's a big exclamation mark that's like, there's an extra cutscene you can get here, by the way. Not in this game, though. It's like, y'all intu intuitively just know that you, you need to go here, otherwise, read a guide from somewhere, and then you go here. Anyway. Whee! So there's a cutscene. I guess, you know, medieval times, at least in these medieval fantasy times, I guess, nobody had cell phones. No one had magic cell phones, you know, to notify, you know, that we could, like, go back here and talk to Masalia's father again. Anyway. Uh, father, what is this monstrosity? Hmm. I don't know, it's kind of it's like, it reminds me of, like, a, like a solar system kind of like diorama, or what do you call it? I'm not sure what you call it, but, like, you know, basically the solar system, but, like... As a model, you know, and like spins around. Anyway. I'm not entirely sure. I've been assembling it from pieces recovered in Tunnel 83. It has the look of an... Orrery. Orrery? Orrery. To hear it said, it does. Hmm. What was that? This device reacts to Ursai as well. What's this? There's a mark inscribed upon the base. It's another zodiac sign. Indeed, another stone appears to be required. Then I suppose we had best begin searching. Looking for more, for more stones. Alright. 
Funnily enough, we're just kind of like gathering the Dragon Balls, exactly what the church is trying to do, but we're just doing it uh, to like power up like a little toy, you know, basically. Well, it's not a toy, but you know, like a model of some sort. Anyway, let's go back to where we were. No random battles! Every time. I hope for no random battles, and yeah, random battle. So, we're back here. And now we can go to the temple, right? Yeah, temple time. The temple of Doom. Or something. Something like that. Was that like a game show like that? I never I don't think it ever came on in Canada. Or maybe well, maybe it did, but I didn't see it. Was something like Temple of Doom or something? I don't know. Or is that just a, a movie? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know where that comes from, actually. I think it's a game show, right? Maybe it's not a game show? I don't know. I, I've only heard about it, never actually seen it. Something about Temple of Doom. Something something in the Temple of Doom, right? Or is that like... Because now I'm thinking like maybe is that is that Indiana Jones thing? Anyway, here's a robot. The Construct 7. Warning, warning. Hell human entry, prohibited. Vacate premises within 30 seconds. This is not a drill. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, system error, 3, 2, 1, okay, annihilation mode, initiated, research staff, evacuate to shelters immediately, okay, so I imagine, okay, so the lore around, surrounding these, like, robots probably is, so, so it's super sad, oh no, what's going on, it's like overheating, huh, <laughs> what? I was gonna say the lore behind these robots probably is like you know the the old uh, the old trope about how like even though we're taking place in a medieval fantasy world, there is like old technology you know that existed like a, a more advanced civilization that was uh, destroyed a long time ago. Oh, so what are these? They're on the statues. What are these hydras? They look scary. Hydras. Try attack. Yeah, that's all they do though. You should do a truck to try attacks. Kind of reminds me of um, what's the uh, Duck Trio? You know, Duck Trio. With the three diglets in the ground, but also the bird. What's that bird? I forget what that bird is called. Doodle, but like the evolved version. You know, in Pokemon, with the three birds, or well, the bird with the three heads. Anyway, they also had like try attack. I think. Anyway, birds over here. A lot of birds. I believe Beak. Yeah, Beak sucks. I remember this one. Yeah, it gives you it gives you stone. I hate that move. Petrifying everybody. Also, uh, Construct 7. So this one's obviously a alternative version, the enemy version of the robot we have. Automaton. Near Automaton. No, um, this tack turn general purpose robot is a relic of a lot of civilization's technology. This is only for service master. It has, it has counter, ignore ter terrain, ignore weather. It cannot enter water though. Well, good thing that I, well, good thing for him. There's no water here, I guess. Hmm. And tasks, I guess. All right. It has a buff though. What is that? What is that? It has a T. It says T. I don't know why it says T there. Or is that a shield? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. It has 22 attack though. So that's a lot of attack. Well, how much attack do we have? Like relatively, we have 10. <laughs> you know, it's like we have 10. That robot has like 22. That's a lot. Anyway, Agris goes first, obviously. Let's do a little hollow boat. Wee. Probably kill these things first. Which is like right here, you know? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I might as well throw things. Can I throw from here? Ah, it's, can't, it doesn't work like that. I guess I'll throw at you. 24? It's not a lot of damage. Uh, let's try a flame burst bomb. Because I do know... Ah, oh, nah, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay, these ones are just ma uh, magic, I guess. Because I do know magic doesn't work on these robots, but I think you still... Some of them still do, and then... They do extra damage? I'm not sure. So maybe a spark bomb? Does that work? Ah, it does. But it doesn't do a whole ton of damage, but it does a little bit. Sure, why not? I'm never going to use these things anyway, so I might as well use it now. Because I do know, yeah. Electricity obviously does work on robots, as it turns out, by the way. It makes sense. Any 
these birds though. I hate these birds. They suck. They're gonna throw feathers at me though. Is that what I'm gonna do? I mean, I don't... well, I don't know, we'll see. Because I'm, I'm quite over-leveled, but... I still lose. It depends on how strong that construct is, you know? They seem to hit very hard. Again, and again, they have some kind of buff? I'm not sure what that is. Maybe you can, like, remove that buff? You have the spell? I, I do know on the Mystic class, I don't have the Mystic abilities on right now, but if you have the Mystic class, you can, like... Uh, you can, like, um... I don't know damage to these guys. I'm gonna shoot them though. It depends on who moves next, actually. Uh, but I was gonna say, um. Those are guys. Why did I forget what I was gonna say? I get distracted. I get distracted. Oh yeah, the Mesa class has like a spell that removes like buffs. It's called Harmony, I think. That's what I was thinking of. So I wonder if we can remove that buff. But the construct is gonna move next. Then uh, Pura and Bukulos. Pura Bukulos. Okay, well. Can't kill one of them until they get close and attack. I'm assuming this guy can only melee, right? Hopefully. I wanna check its movement actually. I had to pay attention though, you know, to make sure I don't just lose. I guess I'll just use a see. It won't kill it, but like at least. Maybe you'll like run away if it has low health, ideally. Over here, all in a row, you know? Not a lot of space on this map. Okay, good, it's just a move a little bit, that's it. Yeah, that thing's gonna run away. Which in its own way is good, because uh, less damage towards us. Try attack, oh no. Oh, okay, it hits like around. Interesting. I didn't know it does that. Of damage. Let's see, do, do I have enough to kill the birds though? 270? Yeah, I'm rather, rather just one shot the birds. I'll attack it from the side. Like so. Oop, dead. Not the content of that robot though, but good thing uh, she has good uh, evasion. Do it real quick. Go over here. Whee! And Agrius can just destroy them all, like, like so. Like so, like this. Divine Ruination, like that. Aya. Not dead yet, though. I was thinking the three headed Hydra would die, but now it will. Now it will. With the power of a ninja. Yeah. Okay, there's a still a bird there left, however. I'm gonna kill those birds. Let's see here, let's do this. And more Divine Ruination. Ironically, I don't make use of her White Mage abilities all that much, you know? It's like, even though I have the White Mage skill. Because, you know, I was thinking of making her like a, like a Paladin sort of thing. She doesn't actually use it all that much. What are you gonna do, robot? I got a punch? Uh-oh. Can't dodge that! <laughs> Dead! All right, well, that sucks. As it turns out, you can't dodge that. That bird's just gonna do that. That's fine. You dumb bird. And that thing's gonna run away. That's fine. I mean, do I have to destroy all... I don't think I have to destroy all enemies. I just have to destroy the construct, right? Or are you mistaken? I'm not sure. Let's see. I can't revive with ramps, so I have to, like... Do something else. Uh, let's uh, let's kill this bird actually. Okay, can I throw the item from here? No, to get close. Okay, might as well go here. I, I do have to like uh, pay attention. You know, I, I'm so used to steamrolling all the enemies. But actually, this is a fight where an enemy actually is threatening me, you know? Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? Uh... Over here. 
and then do the thing. Like so? Oh, oops, I didn't realize that Ramza was in the line of sight. Oh well. Oh, it's confused now, so that works. I'm gonna maybe let it be confused for a bit. And just, like, go somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. Or at least heal up? I like to heal up. Maybe I should consider killing that Hydra with experience, but it's just gonna be all You know, it's just a nuisance. It's just... It's just a big old nuisance. Let's uh, use chant. You know what? I actually am gonna use uh, white magic. You know, it turns out white magic I never use it. Now I'm gonna use it. Use the power of Kiraja. Yeah. Kiraja. Nope. What the heck? It was confused and yet. <laughs> you kidding me? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll get you next turn. Um, actually, I, 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 well, actually, I can use the things down right here, so. Still in time for the heal. Because I was gonna say that you know the heal was gonna be wasted. Might as well move into the heal zone, because why not? This isn't needed because she's immortal, but might as well. Fun. You know what? A little geomancy for you. A little geomancy in your face. Take that. Yeah, a lot of people value. I when you know when I looked up, um, you know, tips for the game. I remember, you know, when I first uh, started, I had a really hard time. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Nina didn't get much because she has very low faith. That's why. Um, but I was looking at tips for the game because it was really hard, and it was like you know I kept losing. Also, she's gonna die again. Whatever, <laughs> just let her die, I guess. Um. And I saw a lot of tips that say, oh, you know, don't care, you wearing armor? That's stupid. It only gives you health. What's the point? What you really need is that light armor that gives you stab bonuses, which is really good, you know, don't, to be fair. At the same time, though, if you don't have health, how are you going to tank that attack? You know, you can't dodge that attack. I don't know. Because uh, Nina wouldn't die there if she was wearing, like, full, like, armor instead of, like, other stuff. Is what I think, anyway. Also, I guess level 50. I want to give it someone else the experience, actually. Um, just wait. Sure, Heartbreak will get it. Heartbreak will get the experience. Why not? We. You did it. You did it, Heartbreak. Good. System failure. Unable to recharge power. Connecting reserve circuits. Uh oh. There's more. What do you mean there's more? I thought I was done. Yeah, there's more, apparently. It's still, um... On its knees, though. Hmm. Okay, I'll just do it again, I guess. Is it just... Oh, no, no, it's dead. Okay, <laughs> that's what's funny. I will- you cannot kill me, I come back! But also bled that again. Self-destruct mode engage. Initiating countdown. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25 system error. <laughs> they just explode immediately. Ah! Right away, what are you doing? Ah! Oh. I guess we already- we didn't get affected by it. It just turned to a stone. Even though we're just right next to it, I guess. I guess it was a small self-destruct. You know, you, just, you still use the self-destructs in other RPGs. Meaning, like... They hurt your characters, you know? Before they explode. Or, well, as they explode, anyway. But, uh, not that time, I guess. Alright, there you go. So, we just kill, like, a random robot in a temple. It's doing its job. Protecting the facilities that are probably long, you know, long gone. And then we just murder it. Because we can. Just because we can. Anyway. 
I'll probably... Oh, well, no, those are cutscenes, actually. Yep. I'm probably, I was going to say, I'll probably go back to the... Gog or whatever. But there's a scene with uh, Beowulf and the dragon. This dragon? In truth, I find it difficult to, difficult to believe. If not my words, believe your eyes. The stone we've won. Cancer. On it, my hopes must rest. Don't now. Be not afraid. Yep. It's going to the car wash real quick. It's like a it's like a spa, you know. You know, it's amazing what a little a little skincare you know does for you. Anyway. Rise, is it truly you? Right. Amazing. Now she's 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 a waifu. You know, it's, it's it's just like it's like Dragon Maid. You know, it's just like Dragon Waifu. You know? that's, how, that's how it works. They just become an anime girl. Beowulf, I thought the joy of your embrace forever lost. Rice, my beloved. Now I wonder if they were. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just wondering what, what they were doing when she was a dragon. Anyway, hmm. a human appearance, but descended of dragons. Okay. He's still a dragon technically, so he's still a scaly. Anyway, what do you call? I don't know actually. What do you call? Like someone who's like attracted to dragons. I don't know what you call that. Dragon file. Anyway. But there you go, she's- she's- she's a woman now. Therefore, it's not weird anymore. I guess, I don't know. It's not weird that he- he was like... ...really likes the dragon. But I guess it wasn't really said in the cutscenes, I don't know. For some reason, I just remember his relationship with Rise. And it's like... I, I guess I didn't do that- I don't know, I don't know, maybe I didn't do this in the original cutscene. Or original, uh, playthrough, rather. I don't know, maybe I just read spoiler somewhere. Cause I- I do- I remember this, I remember like Beowulf, you know. Like, uh... Trying to turn his dragon into a waifu or something. I don't know, maybe, well, I don't know what the implication is. I don't know if they said it, but like... Probably because she was cursed to be a dragon in the first place. And then she needed the power of the stone to turn back or whatever. You know, she was stuck in her big old dragon form, I guess is the idea. She's a new character and everything, technically. Um... She's still a dragon tag? She can't, like... Oh, she can't, oh, she can't turn to different jobs now. Okay, interesting. Uh, can she learn abilities? You learn the dragon abilities, I guess? Dragon kin abilities. Yeah, she can like do a bunch of dragon stuff. Which I imagine is very good, maybe. Like a charm. This is interesting. Persuade an ally. Oh, that's kind of like insight. For the orator class. Increase bravery speed. It's kind of like shout, actually. It grabs it. Anyway, she has a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to use her, though, but that's interesting. You know, probably what it is, uh, probably what it is, because uh, I, I don't think I did this side quest originally in the original playthrough, but probably I looked up spoilers or something. Accidentally. Maybe. That's probably what it is. Maybe I was like, oh, Beowulf? Who's this Beowulf guy? What's his connection to this dragon? It's like, I looked up the dragon's name, and then, whoops, it's, uh, you know, you see the portrait, probably. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess she turns into a girl or whatever, maybe. I don't know. Anyway... So that's done for now, I think. Unless we have to go back to the the Golg. I think we have to go back to Golg, right? We will check. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. What does it say? It's like I don't know what it says it, but maybe you don't have to. Because originally we were looking for that stone. We we're supposed to give it to Mostadio's dad, right? and say it in the thing. But uh, there is another thing, though. There's a side quest, technically. Oh, okay, no, okay. So it's weird because uh, in the original... Well, not original guy, but in particular, a guide by S. Tobias, everything is written in a linear order. So it does say on the next section, you know, of his walkthrough, that uh, you need to go back to go. Okay, so you do have to go back to the city. All right, so we do... I mean, I mean it makes sense. That's... Probably what we're trying to do. Let's go back all the way here yet again. Back and forth. Forever, ever, and ever. Random battles. Until the end of time. Oop. 
Alright, well. No random battles, please! Good. And no random battles, please! Good, okay. Alright, so we made it all the way here yet again. You keep going back and forth a million times. Um, but I guess, you no, know, this is kind of like a side effect of doing all the side quests kind of in a row. Like maybe the game, you know, back in the day, they kind of expect you to like not really do them all at once. But anyway, let's go back here. A little cutscene, because we got a new stone and everything as well. You don't suppose this one will metamorphosize as well, do you? It can be a really interesting new party member. We'll soon know. Father's mercy! Oh. Hey, it's 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 uh, that guy. You know that guy from the game that everyone knows about. What is this place? Who am I? I remember being swallowed by a current, a great stream. You know, I was like in a Kingdom Hearts game, <laughs> and then I fought Sephiroth, and then there was a sequel, and then I fought him again. But then I was like in my different clothes, and now I'm here. I recall reading of something like this in the volume long ago. A transporter. A transporter? A device for teleportation across dimensions, across the very fabric of time and space. Yeah, I, def I definitely, uh, by the way, I definitely did not do this on the original PlayStation. I remember, you know, Cloud was in this game. I, I remember not really following the side quest to getting him because I think I missed it or something. I didn't know how to do it, so. And now I know, you know, through the power of the internet. <laughs> so, anyway. Then. Then the man before us hails from a world beyond our own. Like us not. Behold his manner of dress. My name is Cloud. Yes, that was it. I was all blocky before. And then I got a remake very recently. But now I'm a sprite thing. Or sprite. Or made of sprites or whatever. Now. Anyway. Or made. Oh, well, you say you made of sprites. You're not made out of sprites. You're made out of pixels, I guess. You're made out of pixels, which you are a sprite. Because you're made out of pixels. Anyway. I'm Ramza of House Bearlove. That man over there is... I couldn't care less what your names are. What I need is a battlefield. That's right. I was a member of Soldier. Has he no manners at all? What is this? This feeling in my fingertips. The heat inside my skull. No. Stop. Sephiroth, no. I can't fight you. It's Smash. Can you, oh yeah, he was also yeah he's also in Smash by the way. Cloud is everywhere, but yeah he's also in Smash. Best keep your distance. That man is not stable. I have to get there right away. Okay. What do you suppose that was all about? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Beats me, Mustadio. Anyway, so there you go. So there's a little cutscene of Cloud. There's more to do though, so we have to follow him. Where does he go? Uh, uh, <laughs> the game doesn't tell you, but you're supposed to go to another place. But let's see. You have to go. Oh yeah, you have to go all the way to um, where you met the flower girl. If you remember? And then a thing will happen. So let's do that. You know, there's more random battles. Uh, go. Let's go over here. Alright, so... So we... Went all the way back here. We're, we're basically chasing Cloud across Ivalis, by the way. Um, again, normally you wouldn't know why he would be here, but... I guess he's here. It says so on my guide, you know, on GameFAQs. So, obviously, he's here. <laughs> anyway. So, actually, well... But, uh... Yo... Is someone, so I, I imagine, I guess, Cloud is taking up the... He's taking up the slot, you know? It's like a big, there's a very, very big, uh... Indication that there's probably a guest character in the next fight because they don't allow you to deploy your maximum amount of your party. 
Here you go, back here. Oh, well, there's, there's Arif. A flower for a gill, sir. I know, how how did she end up here? You know, I, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just a cameo, but like... Maybe it's like a, ge a generational thing, you know? There's always just like an Arif or something. Or like it's a parallel dimension Arif? I don't know. Is something the matter? Do I look like someone familiar? No. Never mind. You didn't even buy the flower. Well then, good day to you too. Gosh, how rude. <laughs> oh no. No, she exactly, exactly. Oh no. We've been searching for you, Arif. Thought you'd kick away, eh? Hawking flowers for your mom again today, I see. Such a dear girl, always working so hard for your mom. Please, ten more days, even just a week is all I need. We set the date, the date's long past, love. <laughs> Why is he, he's British, I assume. I don't know how to do a British accent, but... There's, uh, there's a lot of different kinds of British accents, but you know, he's like the gangster British guy. Uh, you'll make good of that girl here now. All 30,000 as we lent you. Okay, this is why you don't borrow from the Yakuza. Or the Mafia, or you know, any kind of like organized criminals. At least me. You know, now as I look at you, you're quite the rub, Duchess, aren't you? Seems to me as you earn a lot more selling that tinderbox of yours than them flowers. What does he mean by that tinderbox? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Get your hands off her. I was listening, by the way. You know, I just like, you know, I walked away, but then I'm like, hmm. Actually, I'll turn around. What did you say? I said get your filthy hands off her. I not be talking to me like that. Might be as you get blood them fancy riggings of yours, see? She? Ow. Run. She, run away. You're looking for a good drubbin? Drubbin? You wanna fight? Ugh. Do you actually? Uh, uh, mm, I actually have no idea. I don't think so. But like, do you fight Sephiroth in this game? I don't think you do. I, I don't remember anyway. I don't remember like uh, when I looked up like stuff about Final Fantasy Taxes. No one's ever. You would think if Sephiroth is in this game, someone would have mentioned it. You know, they would be like, "By the way, there's a secret boss fight coming up." You know, like no nobody, nobody ever said there was Sephiroth in this game. So I don't imagine, even though he's been referenced a few times already. I don't think there's actually Sephiroth in this game. It'd be kind of cool though, you know, actually fight Sephiroth. You, you do it in Kingdom Hearts, you know? I remember, I played Kingdom Hearts, so... In Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, uh, you fight Sephiroth. Any other, like, cameos that Claw makes that you fight Sephiroth? I mean, obviously Smash. <laughs> I mean, Sephiroth literally came out with Smash. Uh, what was it called? Smash Ultimate? Is that what it's called? The game? The one on the Switch? Anyway. What's with this Cole? Cole. He's a Cole Cole. Cloud, are you alright? Twice be damn luck! Come on, boys! You also get to kill a heretic. Oh, yeah. Well, I gotta protect Cloud. Is he protecting? Does he, have, does he have his buster sword? Or or does he not? Otherwise, I don't, think, I don't think he needs protecting. He can just kill everyone himself. Normally. But then again, this is a tactics RPG. Maybe he's used to being, you know, inside a turn-based RPG game. Not so much a tactics RPG game. You know? Maybe not be used to it. Here's Cloud. He's level one. What the heck? He's only level one. That's kind of bad. Oh, he has no. Okay, he does have. He doesn't have any weapons. What? At least he has a cloak, I guess, so he can like dodge things. He's a soldier, though. A mysterious otherworldly traveler capable of formidable limit techniques when his rage reaches a breaking point. Wow, limit breaks. You can do the Omni Slash, except he doesn't have a sword, so he can't. Well, I guess I'll just kill, kill these guys as quickly as I can. Um, the thieves are very annoying though, because they might steal my stuff, which I don't want. Kill these thieves as quickly as I can, really. Yeah. What are you talking about? I miss someone showing their back to me. I mean, well, I was gonna say, these guys are like pretty much close to my level. I don't know if the side quest scales or not. 
They seem, uh, again, close to my level. Which is scary. But also, they throw rocks at me, so I don't know how strong they are, really. Okay, at least get rid of this thief. Uh oh. Run, run, Cloud, run! Do not get killed, because if you get killed, I lose the mission. And that would suck. I hate. I would hate that. Kill you if possible. No, the, the, I, you know, I'm so used to one shotting people in the uh, random battles. These guys don't have one shot. So I shoot you. Okay, good. Just like one, you know, one damage over. I was hoping that, yeah, I was, I was just gonna use uh, heal to finish him off. Guess go over here. She's gonna get slashed by the squire, but you know, she's she's invincible, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> she's invincible. It doesn't, doesn't really matter at all. Ugh, my head. What's the matter, Cloud? No, stop! I remember a soldier. I was not made. Made? Maybe. I don't know. The Final, the Final Fantasy VII story is a little complicated. I, 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 I don't really remember everything from Final Fantasy VII, but I think it's something to do with how like Cloud is like... I mean, spoilers, but you know, Cloud is not who he thinks he is, is the idea. Anyway. I kill this thief. I, I, I gotta kill the thief first. Otherwise, I'm gonna steal my stuff. Yeah. But wow, this is the like the the, the greatest thief ever. Does two attacks in a row. It's amazing. Also, that guy is an attacking heal. That's crazy. You would think a lot, a lot, most of the AI often just attacks heal because she is the lowest HP and stuff. But I was just attacking Ramza, which is weird. Huh. Oh well. No skin off my back. Die, thief. Even though thieves are technically the easiest enemies to fight, they are annoying. Because they might have a chance to steal my stuff, so... Okay, 56%. What about, um... Mushroom Arts? Aura Blast is 56, though. You know, I never use a Yaido. I might as well use it now. I don't know. I don't, can I check the dam? Can I check the damage? I'm not sure how much damage it does, though. It's a problem. Yeah, I don't know how much damage it does. Tetsu. Does it say? So radius, radius, all the same radius. Uh, what does it do though? Hmm. Slash the target. Okay. This one. Howling dark spirits. Okay. This one. Feeds uh, MP, so it just steals MP. This one... Tears of Enlightened Soul to restore HP. Okay, this is a healing one, actually. This is interesting. This one attacks target. Uh, also gives slow. This one gives you... Wow, uh, shell. Okay, interesting. Protect and shell. Um, I just want to do damage. <laughs> you know, I just want to do damage. Um... Attack target. Let's try this, I guess. Cloud Sea Curse. Now, is it slow or is it only? Yeah, okay, it does damage. Okay, ah, that's pretty strong. I don't know. Um, obviously, it's stronger if you have. Uh, ironically, if you're in a different class, if you're not a samurai, you're actually stronger with the the Ido ability because the samurai doesn't have a lot of magic attack in the first place. And uh, did Cloud get hit already? I'm not sure. If he got hit once. I gotta make sure he lives. I'm not sure, can I move fast enough to throw an item to him? Yeah, uh, can't reach him. Might as well just attack the, th the thief then. Can't block bullets. <laughs> yeah, run away, Cloud. Yeah, run away. Yeah, useless right now. Uh oh, uh oh, what is he gonna do? He's gonna jump? He can do that? <laughs> he can just jump. It's crazy. It's jumping. How are jumping? Wow, what is going on with Harbeck's luck? <laughs> like, he, he he's a freaking ninja that has double sword or whatever. He's dual wielding, he's missing every attack. 
He's not even, not even a low chance, like 75% chance to hit. It's missing. All the attacks. Um, I guess I'll just attack you. Like so. Maybe we'll move a little closer over here. Miss! Ah! Your down smash, your down B did not work on Nina. It's too good. Imagine just punching someone to just like parry your your fists with a sword. Probably hurt. A sow like it hurt too. You know, you just punch something really hard. Like ow. My hands. But that's why actually, uh, like professional boxers anyway. That's why it's uh, I mean it's discouraged to actually punch someone. I mean for one, I think it, I mean it's probably something from the you know from. The Mike Tyson, the Mike Tyson era, you know, when he was like the heavyweight champion or whatever. But wasn't there like something? I don't know. It was rumors? Was it rumors or was like was it real? I don't remember now. Also, what the heck, Harvey? I keep missing. Um, but uh, it was something like legally speaking, like a professional boxer's like hands can be considered weapons, you know, or something like that. I don't know if that was real or not. But legally speaking, you know, use your weapons like hands, or use your hands like weapons, you know, it's like. Ooh be arguing in court. So that's one reason why it's discouraged for a professional to push the boxer to punch someone, you know, without their boxing gloves. Also, it's probably kind of like, you know, if they do it without any provocations, it's also just in general, you should you know, just punch yourself when it's like assault. But also like another reason, um, you know, practical reason is also that uh, if you just punch someone with your bare hands, it will probably, you know, kind of break your knuckles. You know, punch really hard, especially. You would just break your hands. That definitely end your career if you're actually a, like a professional boxer or something, or you need some, you know, something like you, you need your hands. So like, probably you shouldn't punch anyone unless you're wearing boxing gloves. I guess you know, it's like, you just gotta wear boxing gloves wherever you go. I guess it's just like, you know, you just out on a stroll, or walk in the park, you just have boxing gloves on. You know, I don't know. Anyway, I've lost something, something very important. Oh, by the way, just cloud. You know, never mind about the boxing thing. You know, I was thinking, well, maybe Cloud should have started, you know, punching people. I mean, he has hands. <laughs> anyway, Cloud? I've not been myself ever since. Who, who am I now? What should I do? How can I stop this pain? Oh, so edgy. Cloud, there are people waiting for you back in your world, am I not right? With the power of another stone, we may be able to return you there. We can return you to your PlayStation 1 era blocky textures and graphics, I guess. Let's go, Ramza. I can't stay here. I have to get there. To the promised land. Okay. I assume Cloud joins the party? Amazing. He doesn't have a sword, though. So. It's like level 1 as well. If you want to, I mean, if you really, if you really like Cloud, I mean, a lot of people do because he's, you know, one of the more famous Final Fantasy characters. Then, uh, you know, you can level him up and then you can use Cloud. Wow, good. Cloud. He's so cool. He can, like, hit things with a big sword. Man. Right, he'll, he'll have a Mythos sword, you know? <laughs> Just because. What is his, what are his abilities? Soldier. I mean, there's Brave Slash, Cross Slash, Blade Beam, Omni Slash, Cherry Blossom. What's that? The most powerful limit skill. Hmm. Never heard of that. I, obviously, I know Omni Slash. Omni Slash is like, you know, another ultimate limit skill, I guess. Another one. Is, is You know, it's the one that he has in the Final Fantasy VII. But Cherry Blossom? Never heard of that. Anyway. Again, I'm not gonna use him, but you know, it's a little interesting little Easter egg. I think there's more to his story though. I don't know if there's more cutscenes, but there's at least one more thing to do with him, but we'll see I guess. Otherwise though, let me let me just double check. Any other side quests I can do around here? I don't think so. I guess that's I think that's it. Um other side quests will open up once I continue the main story, which is what I'll do with doing all that. They finally move on to the main story. Which is, I don't know, actually, I forgot what exactly we're doing here. We're going to Limberry Castle, it appears. Because we're kind of on the run. Because, uh, I mean, the last thing that happened was that we flooded the uh, Beslat, right? Beslat Fortress or whatever. We stopped the fighting, sort of. 
but also the leaders of each side also kind of like got killed, you know, and the church is like growing in power and a lot of things are happening. I guess we'll see what happens as we go through these uh, nodes. Yeah. I guess we'll see.